Hello world, it is Thursday, October 1st, beginning of October. Beautiful sunny day, cool outside today. I think it's going to be cool for most of the day. Um, kind of a nice fall day, so get outside if you can. Enjoy some sunshine in the morning, showers I think in the afternoon. So get out this morning and enjoy some sunshine and some weather before the rain comes in. The devotion today is entitled... The Stories We Tell, written by Vicki Kemper. Vicki bases her devotion upon Isaiah 55, verses 10 through 11, New Revised Standard Version. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose, and succeed, I'm sorry, that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Vicki writes, I don't believe everything happens for a reason. When someone dies, I don't believe it's because God needed another angel. When bad things happen, I don't believe God is punishing us. I don't believe God dispenses suffering, much less measures it out. I don't believe everything will work out. Most of us prefer certainty over mystery, and the more uncertain things are, the more likely we are to tell stories to make sense of things. Stories like everything happens for a reason. Stories like God doesn't give us more than we can handle. Stories about doors closing and windows opening. From whether democracy will survive our national sins to when our hearts and institutions will reflect, reflect the reality that black lives matter. From how to live with hope as the climate changes to when we can go back to school and church and travel and please God, hugging. It's only natural to want clarity. I believe there are some things we can count on. God's goodness, for example, God's constant presence, God's transforming love, and Spirit's power to heal and restore. That love's purpose will be fulfilled. I believe God's word is as sure as the most fundamental cycles of life. I believe God's word is truer than any story we can make up, that we can count on it. That we can count on it. We can build our lives on it. We can rejoice in it. In Vicki's prayer. For the best story that ever was and is, and that you are in it with us. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, I believe with Vicki too. Um, those old tropes about um, God doesn't give us anything more than we can handle. Lots of people get lots of stuff that's much, that's much more than they really can handle. Um, but they get through it. Those that get through it, get through it not alone, but with other people. So that's where I think um, our focus really needs to be, is being God's living presence for others. Um, and knowing that suffering does happen in this world, not because God wants it or wills it, but um, it happens. And we can help others get through it by being present with them. And we can get through it by others being present with us. Um, her comment about, well, when someone dies, I don't believe God needed another angel. Um, I'm right there with her. I don't think God takes anyone for a particular purpose. God may actually weep and cry with us in our pain, in our loss. And God is still present with us during those moments. But God doesn't create them. Now that's not to say that in every moment there's not something we can take from that experience. I mean, everything that happens to us becomes part of us. And um, we have an opportunity to um, to take what experience we have and help us in the future. I think a lot, oftentimes people who have experienced tremendous loss or pain, once they have gone through it, they still carry it with them. But oftentimes those same people become a wonderful support system for other people because they understand and they know the pain that others have gone through. And sometimes I wonder um, 
with Jesus dying on the cross. If we truly believe that Jesus was God incarnate, God suffered a horrible, horrible death. I mean, God suffered horrible oppression by authorities, religious authorities and civil authorities. Um, and, and horrible things were done to him. And if Jesus is God, God knows the suffering that humans go through. That's why God is present with us at all times. So I hope this brings you some comfort and encouragement in this time, especially during this time of the pandemic when, as she said, um, we can't even hug each other. Um, may we find God's presence in one another, even from six feet apart. Talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.